Thank you for watching the Climber Dad channel. In this video series, I'm going to be talking about climbing holds and how you can make some really high quality polyurethane climbing holds every single step. This is a series and this is the beginning of the series. If you want to be a part of the dad crew, hit that subscribe button. Also, share this with your friends and the like button also helps other people find this information that they need. So you're helping others by hitting that like button. Yes, the like button. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have this just crazy urge to go build your own climbing holds. Oh yeah. That's good. I'm gonna talk about where you can buy the supplies and all of the supplies that you need to start out with locally. We're gonna start out at America's craft store, Hobby Lobby, right? Mm. With all my kids. So you want to come down, find the flowers first, and you're going to come down this aisle where you are going to find your foam. Right here? Yeah. Dad, you... You stinker! <laughs> okay, this stuff, if you see how grainy it is, that's a no-go. Wow. Do not get that stuff. Another one that you want to avoid is this one. This is super, super soft and really hard to work with because it's so soft. It's really easy to work with too, but when you get your shape right, if you look at it wrong, it, you're going to smash it. The stuff that you want to get is right here, the dry foam. Uh, this is the good stuff. And we want to find not just a brick, but we want to find something like this. This will give us the most... What about circles? Ooh, circles. That, might, that actually might be perfect for what we're trying to do, the circles. But So you have, you have all these different options that you can get right here. So let's... Maybe we should get these circles. Let's look at the prices. That would be really cool. You can make, I mean, it's already a, just a sloper by itself, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But you have different options here. Just get the dry foam and not, not that stuff. Not that stuff, but this stuff. Okay, so after you've found the layout of the land and you've gotten your foam for carving, you then want to find the aisle that has all of these models in it. And in every Hobby Lobby that I've been in, the kit that we're after is down on the bottom. Okay, so if you can find a 40% off coupon, this is the kit that you want to buy. So you can get this at a discount. Um, if not, if you do not have that, you don't need to buy the whole set. Let's, you need the RC3, and RC actually stands for rock climbing. This is designed for climbing holds, making climbing holds. And then you also want to get the HS3. This is the High Strength 3 Alumilite um, silicone mold making kit. So um, both of these kits will work. This, I believe, is better. It has a little bit more strength to it. And for the same price, uh, why not get the one that's a little bit better? This will uh, be quicker, so if you're very impatient, do that. This is also the one that's in the kit. 
it'll work just fine. So these are your options here. We also have some colors right here if you want to add some colors into. Here? Yeah? This is glow paint. That's I mean, like glow paint. Glow paint? Yes. Should we do a glow paint? Yeah. I think we should buy it. You, th you think we should buy it? Yeah. Okay, and maybe we, we will. We should get one of these. Some spray paint? I don't think we need spray paint. Wow, that was a little bit more expensive than I was anticipating spending. Uh, typically, you get a 40% discount coupon, but uh, I guess they don't do those as often as they used to. The Dollar Tree, yeah, I like that store. So this is the place that we're gonna go to get some really inexpensive tools to carve our climbing holes. Oh. Here we go, craft section. This is what we want. So some of the tools that you can use that we can find here, this would be pretty nice to have. This would be pretty nice to have. This, I think, is gonna be the best and do everything that we need. And yeah, it's got a Two different size balls we can do a lot of uh, different textures with this so we'll get this and let's go see if we can find some other tools in another section hardware let's see what do we have here yep that we could use that. We need something to cut the foam. That'll work great for the size of foam that we have. Yep. I do like tractor supply. Okay, so we've got the 7 16 inch bolt right here, and only two 3 8 washers left. Man, that's... But these washers are generally oversized, but when you buy them like this, typically want to check and make sure that they go onto your 7 16 inch bolt, which they do, so, and that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. It would be nice to have some grade 8. They don't have any grade 8 or grade 5 of these either, so, you know. I'm gonna use what we've got, and these will last plenty of time. They're good. I will be keeping meticulous track of how much this is costing and how many climbing holes we can make from that through to the end of this series, so uh, keep on watching. You can get this stuff cheaper online if you shop around. I will have some links down in the description below.